know where we are. Yes, it's a service by a company called Gather. Gather Town is the uh, web address. Right. And what they specialize in is virtual uh, assemblies, events, using uh, yeah. webcams and talking. So we're actually in a conference at the moment. We're in a, the hall of a conference. Oh, uh, if, you walk, if you walk away from me, yeah. you'll uh, I'll have to chase you. So um, yeah. as you can see, you can, only talk, you can only talk to people when you're in close proximity to them. Right. As you would in real world, in the real world. Um, so if you walk too far away, the camera will start to fade away, and then you'll lose connection. Yeah. Um, so this is the this is the uh, entrance hall to this conference center that we're currently in. Um, okay. If it was a conference, you'd imagine this place would be full of people, and you could just walk up and talk to whoever you want to. Okay, I get you. But if you look around, there's like tables dotted around the place, and yeah. if you walk into that area, there we go. Um, we, let me join you. You actually walked into a private area then, so only four people can be in this area because there's four chairs. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get you. Because if, if you imagine, if you, otherwise you could just have any stranger walk into your conversation yeah. and just uh, overhear you. Um, I can see it's got like a, yeah, you mean, so over that square, if you're inside that, it becomes private for the maximum number of people in it. Yeah, so the amount of chairs that are there is how many people can hold it. So we would need to go over to the left to those two seated chairs for a private conversation to make sure no one could come in there. Yeah, because at the moment, another two people could come in and join us, um, yeah. which isn't bad if you're in if you're in the mood for networking, and you want other people to connect to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, follow me. Oh, come on. Yep, good, good boy. Follow me. Um, yeah. If we go around, you'll see there's actually rooms here as well. So you've got um, you've got private rooms that you can have in these. Are, these are graphical. Same same con concept where if you went into this room, three people could come in. If you went yeah. into this room, two people, and then you have got a boardroom where you could have uh, what, what's that? Uh, nine people there. Um, yep. sitting around and uh, it's 12 actually um, yep. in, in that room and there's also if we go into this room you'll uh, follow me in. you've got a virtual whiteboard and things like this are scattered around the place so if we press the X button you'll enter the yep. virtual whiteboard and here's some graphics that we did earlier um, but if we write it in you'll be able to see what uh, on each other so you've got to cross out my high I'm embellishing it. Well, this is where we need security in a place like this to kick kick ruffians like you out. <laughs> but um, so we're in this room. Uh, if we leave, we can walk around this conference center. And there's way more stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what's through this door on the left. Let's have a look. Oh, so here we go. We're in a, a, a big, what are these wow. type of rooms called? A presenting room, a seminar room, a, a keynote room. Let's call it a keynote room. So if you stand in one of these orange circles. Yeah you'll automatically broadcast to everybody in this room. Cool. So this is superb for virtual events. Just uh, imagine something like ZeroCon. They couldn't do it because in the past, ZeroCon was always yeah. in London, but now the accountants, they can come in here and uh, have their own virtual conference online and you can go and chat to whoever you want. It's a, it's a brilliant idea. Let's go back through this door instead. Oh, and I think if you stand at the lectern as well, you can also uh, present to the whole room. So, um, oh, slow down, Carl. Slow down, slow down. You're running away. I can't chat to you. Come back, come back. So, because this this is a conference center, you've got booths, so you can set it up for companies to have uh, their own booth to uh, present their their goods and their services. Okay. You can walk around to. So again, it's just bringing the uh, bringing the real world into the offline world. Uh, I think I just I love this. I just think it's so good. So uh, you were blocking me then. Uh. But um, yeah, so only people who can talk to you when they're in this area, so you can have a conversation about it. And uh, some other people will be having conversations in the hallways, uh, which mm -hmm. anyone can walk into. But when you're in one of these grade areas, then it's only uh, it's limited to the amount of people that are, are ever able to get into that area. Back out here. Don't know what posters yeah. is. Let's go into posters. Oh, it looks like it's a kind of like a business card thing when you walk around you can see people's yeah, I can see, info yeah uh, it looks like you could have individual things displayed on here that you can then see if i press x yeah you get to read like a pdf okay yeah that's what it is it's like a big pdf of something let's go oh, through it's a business card really let's go through this door see what happens ah so this is the bar the chill out area Again, yeah. it's based on how many chairs are there, how many people can go into the area. So yeah, someone, you could pretend to be the virtual barman and, uh, and serve. 
can't get any coffee. There you go. And there's some games. There's also games you can play, Carl. So as you can see down here, I think they've got uh, poker or blackjack yeah. or something like that that you can play there. Um, not sure what it. Come over here. It's too far away. Different games to this. And uh, I'm not sure what this game is on the left. No. But again, these are just these are essentially breakout rooms for uh, another poster room. Um, you can stop running away. It's like a, it is like a conference hall. Yeah, yeah. Keep running away from me. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like these, uh, and these are like the breakout rooms in between your conferences, between your keynotes and talks. And again, you can arrange the rooms for, for how you want them to be, for how you want them to be used, all in the settings. Ben, this, yeah. this, this could kill the XL in London. <laughs> that's, that's, that's his job. Well, the XL is kind of dead at the moment anyway. Yeah. So here's some more breakout rooms that you can uh, go to after you've had your big keynote. What's through this door at the end? I think it's another, yeah, another conference room. Um, yeah, another auditorium. But um, so you know, there's there's different maps you can have as well. Oh, let's go through here. There's different uh, different maps you can have, Carl. So there's, they've got right. they've got offices. So if you if you're a team that used to always work in an office and you don't want to be uh, remote, you can have an office that can hold up to 25 people in there, so you can have your team in there. And you can basically, how I see it, is you have it running in the background the whole time, and you can go and walk up to people when you want to have a chat with them, like you would in an office uh, environment, um, especially if you've got here's, people... Here's a question, James. Yeah. Is there a single, I suppose, is there a single seat space? Maybe not in this environment, so you can just be private and like not be left alone. Yeah, that's called disconnecting. <laughs> what, okay. what, what, do you want to be on, what do you want to be using the service if you don't want to talk to anyone? Just to, just to park myself for 10 minutes so that I can go to the loo and someone doesn't talk to me. Oh, well, if you look down at the bottom, at the uh, status bar at the bottom, you see you've got a green tick. If you hover over that, uh, you can yeah. put yourself in busy mode. Oh, okay. So if I do that, it'll turn off. And the, uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you've got, yeah, yeah. what's this, work mode? Uh, I'm not too sure. Turned off when tabbed away and alone, but kept on when connected to someone else. Uh, work mode, whatever that is. But yeah, that's how you control it. And then next to it, you've got a raise hand. So if you're in the conference room, I could hit my raise hand button. And on the left-hand side, you can see our two hands just popped up. You've got screen share, which again, if you're doing the keynote in the conference room and you need to show people, you can just screen share to the, everyone in that room once you're on the, uh, on the presenter uh, circle. And then you've got a mini map just so you can have a look around and get to places, see where you are and where you need to get to. Mm. Down the left-hand side, you've got more settings. So that's just your camera settings and user. Not sure what the hammer is. Uh, I think that's where you can actually build stuff and add things to the uh, the map. You've got your calendar, which is the schedule. So the uh, whoever's hosting the place can put a schedule in and say, be in this room at a certain certain time to uh, to hear this talk. You've got chatting as well, so you can do uh, normal chatting, and then you've got a list of list of uh, attendees. Yeah. If you click on your name, you can change your character. So I'm a I'm a proper mafia thug at the moment. Um, now I'm a, now I'm female. And uh, come outside. Yeah. So if you go outside, let's see what's out here. You got an outside area as well for all the people who want to smoke. And then what's down here? The beach. Beach. And can you go swimming? Just just paddling, just paddling, Carl. Yeah, okay. And what's is there anything over further down the beach? No, but that, that that that's it really. It's, it's it is a very cool concept, and I can see this being used by uh, quite a lot of people. As, the, as definitely we've got some clients that definitely want to use something like this. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, people who want to walk up to each other. That customer who said that they wish they could still just like walk up to someone and have a mid video chat without having to use meat and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And one of our clients is uh, does is like a, a coaching training company, so this would be fantastic to get all their uh, their uh, accountants on it and uh, holding events and stuff like that in there, I can think. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to go back inside and see what's going on. So uh, okay. th thanks for joining me on this walkthrough. Um, I, can't, I can't change maps at, on the fly. You can't change maps on the fly, but there are loads to uh, select. And it's actually it's actually free up to twenty five users as well, so uh, good. yeah, uh -huh. up to twenty five uh, attendees. It's it's free, and then you have to start paying. But um, you can pro uh, password protect the rooms as well, so uh, you can get into them and password protect them. 
Um, but that that's it. It's a, it is a good service and it is recreating the uh, real world virtually online in the best way I can think of it. And uh, it's kind of fun because it is gamified as well, as you can see, the graphics, nice graphics, and it seems to work well. Yeah, it's cool. I like, I like the little graphics. I like the fact they're deliberately sort of retro styled. And, and the key thing with this is, we've got to mention right at the start, is this is all through your web browser. You're not installing any software for it to work. Yeah. yeah. Just Classic go in Chrome. Yeah, just go to the website, enter your password, if it's password protected, and you're, in, you're into the event. Yeah. So I think that's it. I think, I think we've done a good uh, wrap of that up of that so um i'm gonna leave it there unless you've got anything else you want to add i'll see you later okay that's definitely has nothing else he wants to add there <laughs>